What's going on guys, this is Deus Ex Mankind Divided Part 3. I was having a lot of issues with the whole share factor thing and uh, this video was supposed to be up about three days ago, give or take, so sorry about that, I apologize, but we're going to go meet the informant Alex that you run into at the beginning of the game at the, before the train station attack. So, see, oop, wrong button. Uh, it's a multi-tool, so this is about the only way you could use some type of a hacking device without the police tripping. So I just did right in front of him, but put my some going on lethal might as well just keep that up. So we're gonna go talk to her and see what's up, and we're gonna head to Gollum City, I believe. I may be wrong on the name, but let's see what she has to say. Hey, hey, glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Ogs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating the city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Veselife, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because ARC don't operate in North America. They're setting up ARC, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. Sounds to me like Miller's following orders. It also sounds like he's not happy about it. All right, whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. You can't say the same about the man he's talking to. His boss, Joseph Manderley. Director of TF-29 operations worldwide. The only person at Interpol higher than him is the General Secretariat. We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about Versa Life? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. Versalife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? Versalife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for break-in? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know what I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Alright, so I'm probably just gonna look around this building and, um... Miller, <laughs> we still want to go city. city. You are! Yeah. Meet me at Kopecky's Puppet Shop. shop. Your, Your pilot's in route. route. I'll, I'll brief you there. Copy, Copy that. that. Alright, so I'm gonna look around this building and the other buildings around, the adjacent buildings, and see what I can find any supplies, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. And so, I just left those buildings. There's probably gonna be some dialogue, so I'll stay quiet for that. So, we're gonna go meet up a pilot. So, look, let's I go, go, up. Go. I'll call you later. Later. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on chicane. So, tell me about this new lead then. The IntelliCamp footage. 
State police dropped it off this morning, badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie, dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? You got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilec complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. Here's your cane now. You're right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy enough. So we've already decided he's guilty? We just need to talk to him on our terms, not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmail would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utilek complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I'd made a deal with an ARC prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promised to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past ARC's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at an apartment in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? You ask me, Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. These days, the lines tend to be blurred. But Rucker was a highly respected doctor, with no military training. What am I missing here? Rucker is a man of deeply held convictions, with an unshakable belief in his own righteousness. Doesn't take much to push a man like that to terrorism. Man's a zealot. He's a suspect. Just bring him in. You really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to tell us, Rucker, and bring him in, Agent. Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. Goddamn, oh, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? No. I like my limp. Keeps me honest. You ready to light out? Let's do this. Good. Strap in. Alright, so we're heading to, uh, Bomb City at the moment. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna go half lethal and not non-lethal, like I'll use lethal weapons on people that deserve it and I'll use it like the non-lethal on non-combatants or, you know, police and stuff like that.
Beautiful cutscenes for this game. So hopefully when this video does come out, it's around give or take the second or the first. Game You're getting pissed enough to end this guy yet? I got a no kill. Is that right? Who would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice? Oh yeah, and my next video might not be Deus Ex, it might be just a, you know, normal Battlefield 4 gameplay, part 2, whatever. How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. Go to preference. Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from that. So yeah, like I was saying, my next video might be uh, Battlefield 4. If not Elder Scrolls, maybe, but... Ooh. This is crazy. Oh. I believe this might be the place from the trailer, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? Well, I'll find out soon enough. But yeah, this video should be coming out on the 1st or the 2nd of October. Because, yeah, it was supposed to come out last month on the 28th or the 26th. But I was having a lot of share factory issues trying to upload my shit. And that's the reason why it's coming out super late. Jensen. Still got all your parts together. How close did you get me to our contact's location? I was in Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me? I'm gonna switch to autopilot. Have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. So... If I do talk... So, hold on. Wait, are you gonna talk to me? I'm gonna stay quiet for this. I don't suppose you've got any neuropazine you can spare, do you? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Was worth a shot anyway. Word of advice? You might want to keep a low profile tonight. Golem City can be sketchy in the best of times. This definitely isn't one of them. Why? What's happened? Haven't you heard? Terrorists tried to blow up Rizika Station. And even though people here couldn't have had anything to do with it, the cops need someone to blame. Where I come from, cops are supposed to be the good guys. What planet is that? Because where I come from, the police have been militarizing for years, wasting money and inciting deep levels of mistrust between them and the very people they're supposed to protect. Is that what's happening in Gollum City? It's happening all over the place. The cops in Gollum are a special breed. They control everything here. Food, drugs, neuropazine. And not all of them think very highly of Azogs. These cops... They're looking for members of ARC? We're all members of ARC to them. One way or another. And some of us may have even done bad things. But not the kind of things the rest of the world says we've done. Sounds like you support ARC. Why shouldn't I? The Augmented Rights Coalition was started with the best of intentions. As a non-violent way to confront injustices and advance the cause of Augmented Rights. Okay. But in my experience, the best of intentions often go awry. That may be true, but right now Talus Rucker and Ark are the only things keeping people in Golem alive. Trust me, they're the good guys. I'm getting the impression that you see Ark and Talus Rucker as some kind of augmented ramen hunts. How well do you know the man? I met Talus years ago in India. We were both humanitarian aid volunteers back then. Is he a good man? The press paints him as a narcissist. He has his faults, but I wouldn't believe everything you see on Pakis News. Does he visit this area of the complex much? He... You know, you've been asking me an awful lot of questions. Did I do something to offend you, Doc? Because that wasn't my intention. Maybe not. But it sounds like you're fishing for information on the only man who's holding this place together. So you can't blame me for being cautious. I'm 
asking precisely because I know how important he is. You seem to think highly of him. I admire his idealism. He believes people will usually do the right thing. They just need to discover what it is. And that includes arming yourself when the rest of the world turns against you. Talus has fought Ark's armament every step of the way. He still fights it. But don't listen to me. Listen to his daily broadcast. They'll tell you everything you need to know. I see. Well, thanks for the warning, Doc. I hope you'll take it to heart. So we're gonna go talk to our informant and see what's up with Golem City. Golem City looks like a very slummy area. It looks kind of cool. I saw that's a friendly cop. You must submit to an identification scan. Welcome to Golem City, Mike. Damn, rude. Shit. But the cat in your ass, bit. No, I'm just joking. It's not him. Even though he's an asshole, but also drink his ass. So we're gonna talk to her and see what's up. You people. Now, now what? what? What other lies have you come to tell me? I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm here to see Soko. He's expecting me. Which one? My husband, Dushan? Or his foolish brother, Tibor? I guess it doesn't matter which one. The police took them both to the Narrows to torture them for information they do not have. It's been a rough day, especially here. I can see that. But maybe I can help. What happened? like you care. My husband is gone. Tibor said he had a way of getting us out of Golem City. A contact with... Wait. Who are you? I'm the contact. And maybe there is a chance? There's always a chance. I'm sorry. Normally they only take ARC members. Tibor is ARC. He has been taken before. But now, after the bombing, they come for Tibor. Dushan, he asks why, and then... They take my Dushan. He has done nothing. Nothing! Do you know where they were taken? I told you already. The Narrows! Instead of asking stupid questions, why don't you do something? Don't just stand there! They need help! Please! Swept up by the police. police. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about some <laughs> golem, golem Jensen. Jensen. Your winter pool ID. ID. Won't get you any coins with it. That sounds no, like a good thing with me. They're holding, They're holding, holding place place the place called Narrows. Narrows. We'll contact, we'll contact you, after you after I find, find them. them. Alright, so that was... This is the place from the trailer I saw. But, uh... Get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna... Ooh. Alright, so I'll be quiet here. Don't attract any attention. So I'm probably just gonna cut out if there's a lot of walking and shooting, I'm probably gonna cut that out because I get a physics there. Shit. Uh, do have my okay, do have the right gun out. Another trinket's ass first. There we go. Pick it, I didn't track it, that's good. There we go. Alright, we're good. <clears throat> Any guns? Nope. There we go. Oh, just a heads up, do not do that if you do not have the upgrade for it. I found out the hard way. I thought maybe I could go invisible and walk through it the first time. Did not work, I actually died. I actually cut that part of the video. Oh, some dialogue hey, hey, stay quiet. Brother, watch, watch it. The cops got everything. I noticed that. Are you Tibor? Yes, you're late, Interpol. I know. I spoke to your sister in law. She told me what happened. Adela. Is she alright? 
It seems like she can take care of herself. Yes, she can. You know, you know I can't help you. It's too dangerous now. Tibor, I can get you out of here. And then what? They go back to my housing unit and take me again? And what if you're not there? No! No! Please, that will just make it worse. They know who I am, they... They went after my family. Interpol has promised to get you and your family out of here to safety. Safety? There is no safety! Only tyrants who prey on the weak and the innocent. Alright, Tibor, listen. I understand why you can't come with me, but I still need to get to Rucker, or what happened to you and your family today will happen to others. I'll smooth it over with Interpol. Is there any other way you can help me? There's a man, a smuggler, Louis Galois. He imports items for Talos, Neuropocene, whiskey. He could get you in, but you'd have to do him a favor. He likes favors. That's something. Any other ideas? My keycard to get to Ark territory is gone. One of the cops took it. Probably still has it on him. Thanks, I'll look into it. Please, I know you don't owe me anything, but if you see my brother Dushan, help him. If anything happens to him, Adela will kill me. Of that, I have no doubt. I'll see what I can do. Shikane, get a message to Miller. Sokol's backed out of the deal. Why am I not surprised? He's just looking after his family. Besides, it's not a complete wash. He gave me some options, options on how to get into our car on my own. Well, just to speak. Oh, yeah, yeah, something out. Sorry about that. This is also obviously so trusted. Let me know, Let me know what you're doing. doing. All right, I'm gonna look for this key, and uh, before I get to you guys in a bit. And so I did find the key. It was about an hour's worth of footage. Gotta <laughs> cut out. Alrighty. But yeah, I was on a security guy. Um, I'm not gonna tell you where because I'm. Well, I want you to get that stuff that I had right now. But uh, take the gun out. These guys are checking the terror, so they have a bullet in the head. Uh, let's see. All right, nothing sketchy. Somewhat. A lot of cops over there, so I gotta be very careful. Very careful. Probably gonna be dialogue, so I'll stay quiet for this Think bit. We got Think one. One. Patrolling the mine. Just, Just like, like you said, you said it would be. That's a big freaking rush. Now, let's, let's see, see what we've got, got here. here. That's a big ass rush. Even if it's. <laughs> oh my. Should have tried cutting the blue wire. wire. If only life, life was that simple. You are lost, brother. It looks like you might have taken the wrong turn. You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko. He is more of a guardian. Like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes. I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Sure. Go back. Go home. There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you figure that? You don't know me. I know this place up ahead. We call it the throat. And sometimes those get cut, yes? When outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. 
Do not listen to police and all their bullshit about Ark. Those Lupotia pricks are everywhere, breaking heads, making their mess, and we have to deal with it. Better watch yourself. They won't go easy on you either. Leash or no leash. The cops wouldn't be here if Ark hadn't blown up a train station. And where is the evidence? But you're not denying it. Sometimes blood needs to be shed in order to get people to pay attention. That is a fact of life. This city has the truth in its bones. And what about the innocent people caught in the crossfire? What is that term you Americans use? Collateral damage. This is the fate of any who do not choose a side. The right side! It sounds like a threat. Make of it what you will. What you're talking about? That's terrorism. Is it? I thought we were just two men having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. Like your friend Rucker? I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong. Intelligent. Principle. You could learn a lot from him. Sounds like you already have. You're a regular true believer. Leave a day in this shithole, and you will be one too. You face what we face. The oppression. Degradation. And you will know. Talos Raker sees through all of it. He has answers. Are you sure about that? Or is it just what you want to be true? Well, as much as a political debate stimulates me, you are pushing my patience and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, I gotta tell you, it sucked. The way I see it, after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> yes, it may seem that way. For now. Until then. Sergey! Be careful in there, shiny. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Ah. Yes. Go be seen. Alright, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, please, if you guys want to. Um, part 4 should be coming out pretty soon, and, uh, I'll just give it a finish. Patches, what am I, you fucking secretary? <laughs> Jensen, I thought, I thought you were back, back on track. track. I am. But I, I need you to run on the aim for my leg. Victor, Victor Marchenko. Got, Got a feeling about this guy. guy. Fine. But remember, you're, you're there for Raka. Raka. If he's, he's behind, behind these attacks, attacks everyone, everyone else will fall in line. line. Alright, so this is the end of part 3. Uh, part 4 will be coming up pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh... See you guys in the next one, huh?